I want one piece of advice on diet. Like if people could just do one thing different every day, what would, what would you give? What would you tell them? Um, I mean, you know, there's, there's a list of uh, priorities and probably the highest priority is if you could do one thing differently, it would be to eliminate industrial seed oils. This, but just below that would be to eliminate, um, sh- you know, added sugars and okay. sweets. So if you got rid of sugared beverages, um, sh- pies, cakes, candies, desserts, and all that stuff, those, those two things, the elimination of industrial seed oils, and by this we mean canola, corn oil, soybean oil, sunflower, safflower oil. Those are just insidious oils that you find everywhere. Get rid of those and get rid of the sugars. Yeah, You're 80% uh, on your way to reacquiring the metabolism you were born with, which will enable you to become metabolically flexible, which will enable you to go long periods of time without eating. And, and in so doing, to not have hunger be the main driver of every decision you make throughout the yeah. day. Damn addictive sugar. Okay. Last one for everybody. Like, you know, some people are training, some people aren't. What's one fitness advice for everybody? What's one piece of fitness advice? Oh, I think um, uh, just, and this just arose from the discussion we had half an hour ago. Um, Remember why you're training, right? You're, you're training to become fitter, to become better at what you want to do, not just to go hammer yourself on a daily basis. So don't lose sight of the fact that that training, that fitness is a process that requires that you do a little bit more than the body is used to doing, but that you also allow time for recovery so that you repair and you you actually do become better as a result of having gone to the gym and done what you did or as a result of having gone for that five mile run. I love it. All right, Mark, this was great. Look forward to next week. Thanks so much. Okay. Bye, everyone.